Good evening everybody from Iowa. Uh, welcome to my channel. Hit the like button, please subscribe uh, if you wish. Um, this first one that we're going to start out with, uh, Representative Tom McClintock, McClintock that's M-C-C-L-I-N-T-O-C-K, McClintock. Republican of California sat down on Fox Business Network's Kennedy on Tuesday. He said he would not continue support for Ukraine till the European Union matches the U.S. aid already provided. McClintock and other Republicans are calling for a complete audit of American money sent and assurances that the country has had an honest relationship with the future exchange, FTX. The proposed audit should also cover the millions of dollars paid to the Biden family by Ukraine over the last several years. Representatives and senators are teetering on suspicion that the money received by Biden family has influenced foreign policies in the U.S. McClintock stated he supported the initial assistance to Ukraine based on the confidence they could either defeat Russia or at least inflict enough damage that dictators would lose their ability to attack neighbors impulsively. Now the U.S. has put its faith in a failing Ukraine. The country should be a European security issue. From the American taxpayers, over 54 billion of assistance has gone to the Ukraine through October 3rd. But the European Union has only sent 16 billion. This seems wrong, considering the threat to Ukraine is closer to the EU doorstep than the US. Geez, some of us could have used a little bit of that billion dollars Biden sent, right? And what he sent almost double what the European Union sent 54 billion for American taxpayers and only 16 billion for European Union. According to McClintock, the EU needs the EU needs to match the financial effort the US has put in. Yes, really. But there are also needs to be a full audit of where American tax money has gone. Yep, the taxpayer's money. We need to see where it went. What did it uh, purchase? The audit will be ensured that the Ukraine is honest about its relationship with the FTX. The Hunter Biden scandal has also raised questions about how the Biden's family relationship with Ukraine influences foreign policy. Hunter Biden has been allegedly involved in influencer peddling, which provides monetary gain for spilling confidential U.S. information internationally. This is currently being investigated, but in light of the issue, the American people need a boost of confidence that the Biden's family relationship with Ukraine over the years hasn't influenced foreign policies. McClintock ended the interview with, I, for one, would not vote for another dime until all conditions are met. I agree. I agree. <clears throat> well, I've already been to this one here. I have it on the desktop. So I think I'll bypass that one for now. This one here is uh, non-binary Biden admitted nuclear official charged with luggage theft. Okay. The Biden Administration Deputy Assistant Secretary for Spent Fuel and Waste Dispos Disposition at the Department of Energy Office of Nuclear Energy, who was hired as a federal government's first so-called non-binary official in February, has been accused of stealing a fellow traveler's luggage from the Minneapolis airport in September. <laughs> okay. There is a video there, but I can't show it. Sam Britton, a man who claims to be non-binary, means that he doesn't identify as a man 
or a woman. Let me read that again. Sam Britton, a man who claims to be a non-binary, meaning that he doesn't identify as a man or a woman, was charged with felony theft after he was captured on surveillance video grabbing a Vera Bradley suitcase reportedly worth $2,325 from baggage claim at the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport on September 16th, according to court documents. Sam Britton, a deputy assistant secretary in the Department of Energy, who is praised for being a non-binary identifying transvestite, has been charged with felony theft for allegedly stealing a woman's bag at Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport. Well, I'll tell you what now. Uh, <laughs> I guess I won't, I won't say anything right now. Uh, no words, maybe? That would be my motto. <laughs> okay. It's official as of June 19th. I now serve my nation as a Deputy Assistant Secretary of Spent Fuel Waste Dis Disposition, Disposition in the Office Nuclear Energy in the Department of Energy. Okay. All right. My goodness. We'll just uh, see what's going on here. Let me get past all these pictures and whatever's going on. And... Uh, after defendant took the blue bag from Carousel 7, defendant is observed leaving the airport in a rideshare vehicle with a blue bag. The complaint read, records from American Airlines confirmed the defendant did not check a bag when defendant departed Washington, D.C. to MSP Airport. The filings note that Britain was seen on the video snatching the luggage and removing its ID tag, identifying the owner. The Biden administration official was later seen using the stolen Vera Bradley suitcase on at least two occasions when traveling to Washington, D.C. on September 18th and October 19th, according to investigators. When the initial speaking with police, Britain denied stealing the suitcase, but he later changed his story, claiming that he had taken it by mistake and admitting that he still had it in his position, possession. If I had taken the wrong bag, I am happy to return it, but I don't have any clothes for, in a, for another individual, Britain initially told the officer. That was my clothes when I opened the bag. Two hours after the initial conversation, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to giggle here. I really am. Britton called the police officer back and admitted that he had not been completely honest. The Biden administration official then changed his story, saying that he had accidentally grabbed the wrong bag while at the luggage carousel, blaming the mistake on exhaustion. Defendant said when they opened the bag at the hotel, they realized it was not theirs. The court filing stated, Defendant got nervous people would think they stole the bag, did not know what to do. Defendant stated they left the clothes from the bag inside the drawers in the hotel room. Britton was later charged with felony theft of a movable property without consent, according to Alpha News. He was placed on leave from his position in the Biden administration roughly one month ago following the accusations. According to Exchange Monitor, which tracks government officials' moves. Another official was named as Britain's interim replacement earlier this month. The victim who had still not gotten her suitcase back as of October 27th stated the items in the bag were worth over $2,300 according to court documents. Upon conviction, Britain could receive up to five years in prison and a $10,000 fine or both. Oh my. I have no words. I have no words. I'll be back. I got a desktop full, so I'll see you in a little bit. And you are a blessing. Pass it on.